dear students welcome to the sixth class of air conditioning here we will be talking about the air conditioning of library atrium positive pressure negative pressure in building especially in hospital building etc in the last class we described the air conditioning in auditorium air conditioning in operation theater i think it was pretty clear to you it was done, done with the diagram clear diagram you have to remember these diagrams you have to remember the duct layout the air flow layout and you have to replicate it during your exam if it is asked so see the diagram with minute details and go on according now today we are talking about the library air conditioning in this case what it means in library the main thing to be maintained is sound level should be minimum in library people sit silently study and it is not supposed that any sound is there so in air conditioning the main emphasis is given on the sound prevention in case of library now how sound can be prevented one is acoustic lining of the hu room hu room means where air handling unit is there in the air handling unit room you have to put acoustic lining through all the walls of hu hu room so what happens whenever whatever the sound of the hu comes hu gives a give a big say big sound in case of air conditioning hu has a bigger sound in case of air conditioning so that sound is transmitted through the duct to the rooms in case of many buildings where it is proper not properly designed and the room is near the hu room even from the air conditioned room you will listen humming sound if the room is silent now if it is a shopping mall because of so many people running there talking there so many people moving there you may not understand a small running humming sound but in case of library where everybody is silent nobody is talking everybody is busy in reading a small humming sound may be very very disturbing factor so for that reason the library is designed in such a way that the proper acoustic lining is done of the hu room hu room is lined with acoustic material generally what acoustic material is used generally it is fiberglass fiberglass is a famous acoustic material of high density remember fiberglass is also used for insulation but that is of low density fiberglass of acoustic lining for acoustic lining is of high density so high density fiberglass whenever there is sound vibration it absorbs the sound vibration it absorbs the sound vibration and as a result of the absorbing of the sound vibration there is no transmission of humming sound from the hq room to the library not only that in case of that also ducts are properly acoustically balanced means in case of library building the whole hq supply duct for example this is hq this is hq this is the blower and this is the supply duct this is supply duct 
here is the diffuser this is falsely this is falsely here a diffuser here a diffuser Here it is. You can see. There are supply diffusers, there are return diffusers. Here is return diffuser. Here is return diffuser. Here is return diffuser. So this is return diffuser. This is supply diffuser. So what is done in case of this? The whole duct, this whole length of the duct, this whole length of the duct is acoustically line. Remember, the supply duct is also insulated from outside. Other than insulation, an acoustic line is put in the inside. So whenever the air passes through this blower, through this supply duct like this, all the sound gets absorbed in the acoustic line. An example of this is if I take a section of this, if I take a section of this, this duct appears like that. This is the duct. In the duct, this is outside insulation in supply duct. This is supply duct. This is outside insulation. This inside, this is outside insulation. This one. This is outside insulation, generally 50 mm thick of fiberglass, and this is inside acoustic lining. You can see this is inside acoustic lining. This is inside acoustic lining. This is inside. Acoustic lining. That means whatever sound is being propagated from H room by chance. I have told you that H room itself is totally insulated, insulated, no? acoustically lined. So all the sounds of the H room, around eighty percent sound gets absorbed in the acoustic lining. The 20% sound which gets transmitted through here to the whole duct because of the acoustic lining in the whole length of duct up to the room, it gets absorbed and no sound reaches to the library. In case of general buildings like shopping malls, airports, hotels, etc., only up to this part it is acoustic lining, a very small length from the blower. Whole duct is not because it requires lots of cost in acoustic lining. If your duct, the whole duct is running to the floor. A big library is there. Three floors are there. One HU supplying to all the floors. Then what happens? The whole length of the duct is to be acoustically lined, and for that a huge cost will be there. So it is generally not preferred acoustically lined in case of other applications. But in the case of applications where it is it is absolutely silent application, then like recording studio. Again, absolutely silent. There you are putting acoustic lining. You can see acoustic lining in the Manavrachira classrooms also. In the near the board, the old part is generally acoustically lined in Manavrachira classrooms. This acoustically lined is generally done in classrooms to prevent reverberation effect. There should not be reverberation of sound. Reverberation means sort of reflection of sound. When the lecture, lecturer gives a lecture, then the sound may be reflected through the whole building. And that is not what is not expected. To save that sound from the building, the acoustically lining is provided. Similarly, same type of acoustic lining we are providing throughout the duct. And in case of some libraries, even the return duct, return air is not taken above falsely. 
it is taken through the return air ducting. In that case, the return air duct is also customized. This is used for libraries. One is library air conditioning, or another is recording studio. Recording studio. There should not be any outside sound in that, and so it is acoustically lined that way properly. I think it is very clear to you what I am telling. This is important for you. You should understand the whole process I am explaining. Now, this is about library I was talking about. Now I will be talking about atrium of shopping malls. How this is there for this is very interesting, atrium of shopping malls. This is also a special type of air conditioning used in case of atrium of shopping malls.
the drawing a bit uh, looks a bit complex, but I'll be explaining it so that you understand. First is that lens. Shopping malls, atrium. Not shopping malls. Shopping malls are general air conditioning. In shops, you are using FCS, fan card. I am talking about shopping mall atriums. How atriums are air conditioned. Atrium is the portion you know which portion is the atrium. First of all, you have to know the which portion is the atrium. As you enter a shopping mall, you see if, as you enter a shopping mall, this is the shopping mall plan. This is say these are different floors. In these floors, you can see these are different shops, and here are the floors, these are the floors. And here in between there is a big hole through which you can see the bottom, which is the ground floor. It's many floors shopping mall, say four floor, five floor, six floor shopping malls. But generally shopping mall, if it is a round design, round design is very preferred in shopping malls. It gives a very good look of the shopping mall if the round design is possible. So I am talking about a round design shopping mall. It can be a rectangular design also, the principle is the same. There is no much difference. So in case a round design of shopping mall, it is round like that. And these are the floors. These are the floors, these are the shops. These are shops, these are shops. And generally, all the shop arrangements are same in all the floors. I hope you understand what I am telling you. All the floors having the same shopping arrangement. This is shop, this is floor outside the shop through which the traveler or the client is moving. Then he is moving inside the shop through this. This is the shop door. This is the shop door through which he enters. This is the shop door through which you enter. This is the shop door. Through this, the client enters. And does the shopping and then comes back in the floor. And here is a railing sort of things. There is a railing, the or fans. So this through these fans you can see all the downstairs parts. And what is downstairs parts? A beautiful round structure in the ground floor. Whatever the number of floors from there, you can see the round structure of the ground floor. This particular part is called atrium. Now, if you design an atrium, how it looks like? In a section, an atrium looks like that. This is the shopping floor. These are different floors. These are different floors. And the atrium here in this, the fence is there. Here in this fence is there. Here in this fence is there. This is the way. It is. This is the way it is. This is the fence. These are different fences. So this is the atrium. This is the ground floor. This is ground floor. This is ground floor. Ground floor. This is first floor. This is second floor. This is third floor. And like that. And here is the atrium. This middle portion. This is the atrium here. Throw. You can stand here. See from here. And you can see the up to the bottom. When you enter the shopping mall, the atrium gives a beautiful look to the shopping mall. And look is more beautiful if it is circular. If you stand on the ground and see on the above, wow, what a look you have at the top. Beautiful look of the round structure from ground floor to the top floor. Atrium gives this structure throughout. Now, Atrium is such, this atrium you can see, this is starting from ground floor to so many floors up it is moving. Now question is that, how do you air condition this part? This part how do you air condition? A lot of people are moving here. It is a big height building. Here in the top of the atrium, here in the top of the atrium it is like that, like here. Here at the top of the atrium. Generally, hot air, whatever hot air is there, that goes up. That hot air goes up. 
gets connected in the top of the atrium, this is the terrace of the atrium. This hot air is continuously taken out through a fan to outside. Because the hot air forms a film here and the film increases in size as the time passes by. Why this hot air comes here? Because when the air got, gets hotter here in the summer season, because of the people, population and so many people running, they emit heat. As it gets hot, the hot air has a tendency because of its density becomes less, it's a, it has a tendency to move up. And it comes at the rooftop of the atrium and collects here. And ultimately its thickness increases, the layer wise it increases and affects the floors. So what is done? At the top floor, there is a fan provided through the blower, all the hot air is taken out. This is one part of air conditioning of the Now the second part of air conditioning of the is, how do you cool this place? To cool this place, to cool this place is not easy because it is generally what is done. If you supply air from higher floors, it won't reach to the bottom. Try to understand, if you supply, because these are every floor they have a big height. In case of shopping mall, the heights are quite big. It's not like a general building. In shopping mall, the heights are so big because in a big building, if the height is small, it looks the building will fall on. So in case of shopping malls, you go whatever good shopping malls, promenade mall or whatever, in the real life shopping mall or whatever, you'll see very high, good height of the building is maintained at every floor. So, from a high height, you cannot supply air for this ground floor to be air conditioned in the shopping mall. So what is done? You are putting air conditioning grills at the first floor floor level. Try to understand what I am telling you. First floor, this is ground floor, this is first floor. This is first floor floor level, we are putting the air conditioning. First floor floor level. Here we are putting. This is what I am showing here. This is ground floor. This is first floor. Here is the shop. Here is the floor. And here in the floor, just below the floor, if it is the floor, concrete is here. Concrete is up to here. Just below the concrete, you are putting a grill here. And through the grill, you are supplying air. And then you are taking the return through the return grill here. So, what is happening? This air is coming to the ground floor, making the whole ground floor cool and then going back there. This is how the atrium is air conditioning. Atrium air conditioning is a very spe specific matter and it requires a terrific amount of engineering intelligence in designing an atrium air conditioning. The reason being, the first thing, all the hot air, as you pull this air here, this air when it takes heat from inside becomes hot and goes up gradually. As it goes up gradually, it comes here and from here, the fan diverts the air to the outside. Because it cannot allow heat layer to form here. It affects the air conditioning inside. The hot air has a tendency to rise. Say for example, here you are, chilled air you are supplying for cooling. This air picks up heat after coming here because of people and other things. After picking up it, it becomes hot. A part goes to return here, another part comes up, forms a hot layer around this. Now this return air going to AQ and getting cooled again and coming back. Again it gets, a part of it gets heated and goes up, comes to here and forms a hot layer here. That hot layer is going out through the fan and you are diverting it to outside. So the process goes out constantly in the atrium part, it's not easy to do an atrium air conditioning. First I was taking live, talking library air conditioning where acoustic was very important. Now I am talking of atrium air conditioning where air conditioning is very difficult to do because of the common high high. In case of common high high, you cannot put throw air conditioning from second floor top because it will be too high a high to come here. What will be high? At least 11 to 12 feet are kept in one floor in case of shopping mall. So it is 11 into 2, 22 feet. Above 22 feet, if you supply here, nothing will come back, come to the ground floor. 
And here there is no people. So they absolutely you don't need air conditioning in this place. You need air conditioning only in this place up to people where people are moving. And not above that height. So the design is to be very specific in case of atrium that the proper air conditioning here is circulated. Now come to the plan. Here is supply air, here supply air is going, here return air coming to the bottom and coming back. Here return air is coming back to the bottom. This is what I am showing. Return air coming back. I am not showing here bottom because it will be confusing. It is the floor. Below the floor it takes. And here in the floor periphery it supplies like this. It supplies. Floor periphery. This is the floor periphery. You can see the section A and you can understand what I am trying to explain. In case of shopping mall, the most difficult part is atrium air conditioning. And for your information, atrium has the maximum population generally. You will see in a shopping mall, lot of people roaming here because of the beautiful view it gives from down floor. And after people enter here, the first thing they enter the atrium. So the heat produced here is very high. So the cooling is to be done at very high level. And after the cooling is done, the cold air is being sucked up and taken to the engine. I think it is clear. I am explaining the atrium air conditioning as much as possible. And I hope you could understand the air conditioning in general. So, what different air conditioners I have taught in the last two classes? Number one. I have taught in auditorium or cinema hall. Number two, I have taught in operation theater. Number three, I have taught in library. And number four, I have taught in atrium of the shopping mall. All these diagrams you should properly note. I have drawn a intentionally big diagram so that it's clear view in the camera. You can see these diagrams and you can replicate it during exam if it is asked. If you have any question regarding that, you can always ask me in the chat of the chat box of the Microsoft team. You can call me over the phone and you can ask me, I will explain you. Or even after the classes open after this uh, whole scenario is over that time you can come personally and explain that is absolutely no problem but you should understand the basics of HVAC if you understand you can explain these things during interview to an HVAC company that is enough to be for you to be picked up because these facts are not known anybody other than HVAC students the refrigeration air conditioning who reads he doesn't know anything of this thing he knows only psychrometry and nothing else. But the psychrometry is just the beginning of air conditioning. It is just the starting of air conditioning. There is a say where refrigeration ends, air conditioning starts. In this world, you should follow the latest trend in the market. And the latest trend in the market in mechanical engineering is one of the latest trends in HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. In case of shopping malls, in case of cinema halls, in case of buildings, everywhere you need to air condition. And global warming is continuously increasing. The pollution level is continuously increasing. And for these things, air conditioning is the only solution. Manufacturing is coming to a stumbling block. But air conditioning is opening new avenues. You should always be futuristic. You know, automobile factories are getting closed. Because the automobile is shifting to electrical. And in case of it shifts to electrical, all mechanical parts will go out. There is no requirement of mechanical parts. It will be battery operated engine. The electrical parts are more important. And what you have to do? You have to mainly change the motor and battery. Those are the things required. So all the other things of air conditioning, mechanical engineering of air conditioning, 80% will go. But HVAC is the future, one of the future perspectives of 
the Kaligan movement, which is to grow very fast. I hope this much is clear. Thank you for attending the class. Thanks.